Mango Math presents What's Your Angle? A fourth grade game. What's Your Angle is a fourth grade game that falls under the math strand of geometry and it's a geometry game where students learn the concept of angles and measuring them. What's Your Angle has some math terms to help increase understanding and those are right angle and angle measuring 90 degrees acute angle, an angle measuring less than 90 degrees, obtuse angle, an angle measuring more than 90 degrees, and protractor, the instrument used to measure angles. The supplies that are provided in the pouch along with your information sheet and directions will be what's your angle scoreboard, some ang legs that come in six different sizes, a protractor, a dry erase marker, and eraser. To start, the students will have their game board out, and there'll be two students or more who are um, going to write down on the scoreboard, and then there's going to be one student that's going to create the angle, and they'll take turns doing this if they want to, or they'll do one whole game with one person just creating the angle and the other kids guessing. So it's how you want to start it. So one student will take the two ang legs and make an angle. The other students then have to first decide what type of angle that is and they're going to do this quietly by themselves and not talk to the other students about it and they're going to figure out well a 90 looks a little less than a 90 degrees so they're going to say it's an acute angle they're then going to estimate how large their angle is well, it's just slightly less than 90 so the guess is 75 degrees they're then going to take their protractor and measure exactly what it is and it comes out to be closer to 80 degrees and it actually is at 77 degrees and so they get points then at the bottom of the scoreboard they have uh, how they can get points if they get exact measurement they get 10 points if they're 1 to 2 degrees off they get 5 points if they're 3 to 9 degrees off they get 3 points and if they're 10 or more degrees off they get 0 points so in this case this player was just five degrees off so they got five points. So they're going to continue doing this. So the students are going to continue having one student make an angle with the ang legs, the other students then guessing the type of angle, in this case it's not obtuse, estimating the size of their angle and at first they're just going to be doing wild guesses. They should get more accurate as they go. They're going to say 120 degrees. They're going to get their protractor measure exactly and it looks like it's 130 something 132 degrees they are then going to use their score sheet to determine what they got in this case they were off more than 10 degrees so they got zero points so this game continues on and as they play hopefully they'll get a little more accurate each time and then they'll add up their point score and who has the highest points will win it's a very simple game, but it gets kids understanding how to use a protractor, what the different types of angles are, and how to estimate angles. Great activity. Some guided questions to promote critical thinking. What degree is a straight line? If the hands on a clock are at 3 o'clock, what angle does the hands make? And if you were to measure from the 12 to the 9 o'clock, what would the degrees be? So thinking of a clock as degrees like on a compass. So it's a great activity. Students enjoy it. It'll be fun to do.